Hi guys, it's Ruth. Uh, it's been a while since I've vlogged, so I wanted to give an update. I am almost 20 weeks pregnant um, with the first pregnancy following our miscarriage, and it's good to be at a point where I am no longer fearing um, another miscarriage, where I can feel the baby moving around in my stomach, um, and just feel kind of healthy and strong. Um, but it has been a very difficult pregnancy for me um, emotionally and mentally as it's hard to accept the fact that without losing Summer um, uh, this baby wouldn't exist and so it's hard for me to be able to just sit and enjoy this pregnancy and um, this coming baby without thinking about the loss of baby summer. Um, I realized that I my due date is just about um, one year after summer stopped growing. And, um, and so I'll be welcoming in a new baby at the same point that we will be looking at, you know, one, one, the one year anniversary of summer's death. And so, um, yeah, that's just, it's been a really difficult thing for me emotionally. Um, there's this part of you that knows one baby doesn't replace the other, and then there's the part of you that is like, well, <laughs> it was just a pregnancy, and that pregnancy's gone, and, and this is a new pregnancy, and, and so I guess I just thought that there would be a more sense of healing um, or completeness with the coming of this pregnancy. Um, instead of a just really raw uh, awareness that everything that I'm feeling now wouldn't be possible without the loss of summer. And um, it's just a weird paradox in my brain that I hadn't really ha heard people talk about. Um, when we had the miscarriage, people had said, oh, you know, you can get pregnant just about right away. It's often healthier and easier to get pregnant right away um, rather than wait and then we weren't really sure whether we were going to or not um, try for another baby and uh, but yeah it was just kind of this expectation that that a new pregnancy would heal that part of me that was broken and lost in the last um, miscarriage and so yeah, uh, if you are mis if you've miscarried and, and you're trying to make that decision about um, when to get pregnant again, I think that it's just a good thing to be aware of um, that it's it's going to ha have a lot of conflicting emotions um, for you, and it's something to just contemplate and um, think about, and not just assume that it would it'll be easy because it's not. <laughs> It's actually really hard. So, thanks for watching today.